we've got our Mucky Paws on the Umarex HDB T4E.68 paintball shotgun. Um, and this is a 7.5 joule version. So we're gonna open the box and see what's inside. So you've got a user manual. Some foam, a squeegee and an Allen key. And that's it. And that is the HDB, which stands for I'm not sure. <laughs> There's actually nothing in the manual to tell you what it stands for. Imagine, like most of Umarex products, the HD stands for home defense. Now, it depends um, where you are in the world, whether you can use it for that. We're in the UK, so that's a no-no. So we're looking at primarily as a paintball shotgun. And does it work in as that perspective? And if you were to, you know, push me for a yes or a no answer, my answer with this model would be no. Um, <laughs> so it could be a very, very short video, but basically there's a, this, it does say in the manual, and it's just here, rubber powder paintball will shoot 0.68 caliber. Well, there's a few things that Umarex haven't really thought about when they've been designing this. If they, if they have had any intention for this to be used in the paintball field, there's this m muzzle here, which is fixed, is really, really sharp. Also, the detents in there, they're really hard. So it's really, really brutal on, on, on paintballs. It shoots everything else great. It, it's a cracking, cracking shooting gun, but paintballs, it doesn't. So as a paintball marker, at the moment, we've been told these things are gonna be sorted. At the moment, it's pretty hopeless unless you want to do some modifications. So you can, you can improve the detent in here, and we've done that. But looking at from um, top to bottom, you've got your loading rod and your barrel. They're, they're fixed piece. They're actually attached together, and they're fixed, and they're, they're aluminium. They're solid aluminium. And then the rest of the body of the marker, apart from the internals, which obviously are pressurized, they're cast steel. The rest of the marker is like a reinforced plastic. It does feel a little bit cheap, but it is well made in the same vein as the HDS shotgun. And there's quite a lot of plastic on here. The, you, you may be deceived in thinking this is pump action. It looks like it should be, but it isn't. So everything is loaded underneath here. And let me show you how that works. So at the bottom, just here, is where you load the paintballs and you literally lift this latch you need to lift this latch, you just can't push it back. It needs to be lifted. You lift that latch, put it back in that position, and then it's a simple case of loading the paintballs here. So I'll show you how to load it. Paintballs simply drop in there like so. And you can fit in 16.68 calibre rounds. And when you're ready, you just release the latch, that's spring-loaded, that pushes it into your, into your chamber there, into your breech there. You just want to load up your CO2 and you're ready to shoot. This is what this Allen key is for. This allows you to undo your piercer. You don't need to do that every time, but if it's tight, then you might want to. Your 12 gram goes in this way, not that way, this way, because the piercer is on the bottom there. That's the same with most of the T4E range that have that bump stop at the bottom and that's ready to fire. And you can tell because the, the indicator pops out the back. It's got a little red seal on it. So you know that's in the firing position. You've got a very simple, but very secure safety here. Push in from that side to put the safety on and that to release it. We're gonna put the safety back on. If you do need to um, purge the system, get the CO2 out, you can use the indicator. So you can just press the indicator you might need to use something a little bit harder if there's a lot of CO2 in there. And that just purges the system. Uh, in terms of other features, you've got a 20 mil, mil rail at this side of, the, side of the marker. I think it would be quite nice to have it on that side as well. You have, this has no function apart from you can see and see the chamber. So you can either have that closed or open. No, obviously depending on where you're playing probably a good idea if you're 
if you're playing in the rain to have it closed. You've got sling mounts either side. These are aluminium, aluminium sling mounts. You've got a sling mount under the barrel there. Very, very simple to disassemble if you do need to disassemble it. You have a, you have a push, push pin here that just uh, needs to be pushed out and then you have, you have around about 12 screws on this side. They remove those, remove the top rail and you can get to most of the internals that way. So before we shoot this, um, if, you, if, you've liked the, if you've liked this video so far, if you give us a thumbs up and if you hit the subscribe button, that would be great so you get notifications for future videos. So let's see how it shoots what it shoots, what it doesn't shoot. Now we've shot this with different types of ammo. What we found is on one 12 gram, much like the First Strike FSC pistol and the Tipman TIPX, is on a 68 cal, you do not get many shots. So you'll empty the chamber, so you'll, you'll fire the 16 shots. But there are adapters out there. Um, there's one for MCS, there's one from um, Home Defense 24 in Germany, and you can, you can run this on an airliner and I would definitely recommend that. If you're going to go paintball, we'd definitely recommend that. And the 7.5 joules consistently will shoot on an air tank about 220 FPS, which is, is it's okay. Um, it's not perfect, but the 16 joule version, you're going to be well above what most sites allow. So, you know, this is shooting well above 300 with the valve removed. The, con the consistency with the valve removed is just incredibly poor. <laughs> um, you'll find that it it absolutely massacres anything frangible in the barrel at a higher power. This, with a slight modification to the detent, will shoot paint fine and, and um, yeah, so as a paintball marker, as is, not the perfect product by any stretch of the imagination yet, um, but we are fully expecting Umarex to take on board um, what the feedback they've had so far from a paintball community and make this good. Basically yeah, every other every other thing they've designed to shoot paintballs works really really well in a paintball environment. This is this one falls slightly short of the of the mark at the moment. We're expecting we're expecting Humorex to make that good. We'll see you next time.